Um, there are some individuals that are not here that we still haven't recognized, but uh, we'll have a part three eventually. So I guess this is how we're going to have to roll um, nowadays. Three different events and we'll figure it out. However, those that are here tonight, uh, we appreciate you coming and uh, we're we'll going to go ahead and get started. Uh, we only have about, I think, maybe eight to ten guys still left and uh, we'll go over those guys and then uh, after that, you guys are free to go and uh, enjoy your weekend. So, um, we're going to start with uh, junior defensive line, number 56, Carter Shealy. Yeah. Segregated high school, and they didn't have a football team. And uh, uh, but he was an all-state 
uh, basketball player and won the state championship with a 100 meter in track and was about 6'1", 6 6'2", 6 could absolutely fly. His one regret in life was I didn't get to play wide receiver. And he used to tell me that all the time because I was a football coach. And I told him the other day, his oldest grandson was actually one of my high school receivers and played X, which is the position that Eddie plays. And me and him are still great friends to this day. And, uh, you know, and that's why we choose Eddie to wear it because he, he reminds me of, of that type of athlete and that type of person. And, and I know he's gonna, he does his proud wearing it. So we appreciate it, Eddie. Yes, sir. this year that's going to be wearing uh, the patch that I wore when I was in the United States military. Uh, I was in the United States Army, 32nd Air Missile Defense Command uh, in Kaiser Slaughter in Germany. Patriot Missile Defense Battery charged with defending uh, Poland and Israel against ballistic missile attack. Um, when I was in the military, uh, in, the, in the Army station in Germany, we did multiple uh, training missions and uh, actually even did a deployment to Tel Aviv when things were getting pretty dicey there with Iran a few years ago um, to defend Israel from a ballistic missile attack and obviously wore that patch proudly. Uh, last year, Jake Jacoby uh, wore that patch and, uh, and honored uh, that, that unit and myself with class and dignity and I look for this individual to do the same thing this year uh, and that's Gabe Betts. steamrolled over the Iraqi army. In three days, we just, we kicked their ass. So uh, that, that's what I expect. And uh, last year it was Logan Ivey, and this year I have no doubt he's still the man. Come on over, Logan. <laughs> that have known those individuals, uh, you know what they're all about. And 
it's a proud tradition that we started, you know, four or five years ago. And I just love to continue it year in and year out. And it's just really a, a culmination for our team to give the recognition to that individual that has always given everything they have. And that's not easy to do. And um, I actually remember watching uh, Garrett. Garrett Dantes is going to be our black line. Um, and I'm going to bring him up here in a second. I'm going to talk about him for a second. But I remember being at uh, 14U football practice, at a Seahawks practice. And I got to watch Garrett Tantius and Bobby Clark go through like a hitting drill. And, uh, you know, those Seahawks practices, they were haphazard now. It was just collision after collision. And I just saw one guy giving collision after collision and total fearlessness. And I was like, who's that blonde-headed kid? And I, and, uh, and I just remember walking up to him and shaking his hand. And, and from the moment I met him, he said, yes, coach, yes, sir. It's great to meet you. Shook my hand strong. And I just knew, man, that's a high character kid, and he's an even better person. He's a great, obviously, ta very talented, all right? But at the end of the day, like, he's a guy that you can rely on if you're ever in a bad situation. You say, hey, Gary, can you help me out? He's going to be there. And I'm just, I'm just so proud of him. I just watched him grow up and, um, and, and see him here now and, and just watch what he's done for our team. And the last couple days, you know, we've really challenged our leaders on our team to step up. And I kind of pulled Garrett aside in the, in, the, in the weight room and I said, the team needs its alpha male, it needs its alpha dog. And from that moment and just every day, I mean, it was like a, you know, a, a fire had been, had been lit. Not that he doesn't have it always lit, but it's even more now. And when we can have him driving the bus, we can be unstoppable. So uh, this year's Black Lion recipient is uh, Garrett Tantius. in the loop as to when we'll finish some of those other guys, but uh, we really appreciate y'all being here. Uh, cannot wait for this season to get started and, and for these young student athletes that are wearing these patches to represent their families and, and to represent these units and to represent our program and our traditions on Friday nights. I just can't wait till that O'Galley game, our first home game, where I get to see those patches out there on the field, all right, and to see our, uh, our student athletes in action and earning all the things that they've worked hard for. So we appreciate y'all. And uh, you'll have a great weekend.